Hello, hello, how's it going group? Here I'm going to explain the mixed type uh, metabolic person. Okay, so uh, there's a few of you uh, that are mixed type. You are the most complicated of them all since you're not sure if you're carb type or protein type. You guys are the bipolars of nutrition. Anyhow, the mixed type does have its own. So I'm going to use one of you here for uh as an example, but you make sure you look at where you are. Uh, most of you again scored mixed type in my group, in this type of group here. So uh, we'll we'll ignore you know the facts here, but of course we're going to go with the person's uh, uh, weight, height, age, uh, you know, and the desired body weight and desired body fat for this particular person. I chose. Uh, and we could always mess with it. It's going to be your, again, your desired body weight, your ideal weight. But I chose this person to go down to a certain amount of body fat percent because if I look at this, if this person goes from 127 to 125, that's only two pounds, 2.5. But what's happening is this person is losing six pounds of fat and gaining 3.5 pounds of muscle, which means they will go from 17.5% to 13% body fat. That is the that's the uh, desired for this person that'll be an elite status person here. So uh, that's almost like an athlete there. So this person, this particular person, has a, a setup there and is actually burning with the lifestyle uh, that she has about 20, 2900 uh, 2900 calories of of uh, energy. Okay, every day. Now, of course, it's based on this person's exercise routine. Again, uh, this person and I are going to go over her exercise routine for now. I pretty much estimated what she's doing, uh, you know, like uh, free weights, doing some uh, loaded movements, doing some body weight workouts, uh, does a lot of car, I know does a lot of metabolic conditioning, which is cardio stuff, uh, high intensity anaerobic, anaerobic. Okay, and uh, I'm not sure this person is doing this, but if I was to lower this, there's no hiking going on, there's no yoga going on, and there's a lot of running going on with you. Uh, but we could change all this stuff. You're gonna pick exactly your uh, if you're a nine minute mile person, right? Right now, I'm assuming very low 11.5 mile person, you're probably a six minute mile person. I'm not sure, but for now, just for the purpose of this, we set up your high intensity runs and your low intensity uh, endurance runs. We have your weight training there and we're calculating your total calories of exercise energy you're losing weekly. Okay. So, uh, and if you break it down daily throughout the week, that's what it shows here. It shows a low number, but that's because we're subtracting, I mean, divided by seven. Okay. You can look at your fat burning target. Each individual is different. Okay. So make sure you look at your own. But this person here has a fat burning target of 122 to 151. And the endurance, uh, if you want to get better at your peak performance, then you need to push it up here at uh, above 161 beats per minute on your heart rate. Okay, so that's this person here. Let's look at this at this person as a mixed type person. So scored, she scored mixed. So I need to change this for this individual to a mixed type, okay? Now, when I change it to a mixed type, the, the recent person I was looking at, the past uh, individual I was looking at, was at 1.1 to 1.5 grams per body weight, per her body weight. Now this new individual is a mixed type, so that changes. For a mixed type, your ideal grams of carbohydrates should be 0 0.8 to 1 gram per your own body weight okay per your body weight so that's going to change things for a mixed type it's going to be different than a, than a carb type it's going to be different than a protein type person and we're going to look at if this person has this type of meal plan that's set up right here okay then we need to make sure she's on target with the actual carb grams right here down here i have actual carb intake 1.07 is that right let's see 1.07 she's over in carbs so she needs to adjust that that's how we adjust 
Uh, we need to look at the carbohydrates throughout the day. Uh, maybe she's eating too many of the celery sticks. We need to drop it down to, and I'm not sure this is right, but you know, we need to work on, on, on slices, on tablespoons, on teaspoons, on cups, on, you know, the whole apples or half apples, whatever it is. Uh, we need to adjust this. This is not set up for her yet. She will be tweaking it as she goes, but I'm just working on the exchanges again, guys. We keep a look at the exchanges here. Once again, what are these exchanges? Do you recall this a three action rule? Okay, remember for carbohydrates on rule number three, uh, memorize your exchanges. So 15 grams of carbs is one exchange. Seven grams of protein is one exchange. Five grams of fat is one exchange. That's when you notice the level of blood glucose going up when you intake these macronutrients, okay? And this, that's the study that shows that once you start intaking 15 grams of carbohydrates, that level of blood glucose starts going up. And that's one exchange right there. So that's what exchanges are. I want you guys to get that. Okay. So in looking at that, because you want to increase this glucose curve. Okay. And want to avoid the, uh, gastric emptying time, right? The time frame. We don't want to crash. And we're looking at prolonging this. We want to make sure you guys also keep in mind rule number two to make sure you, every time you eat a carbohydrate, especially mixed types, you're consuming it with a protein and a fat. Every time you eat carbohydrate, you're consuming it with a protein and a fat. That includes snacks, guys. That includes snacks. Okay. And then keep in mind rule number one, eat something every three to four hours after breaking your fast. Okay. Whatever that fast is, whatever your time is. This particular person here, I'm not sure of your time again. We will talk about your time when we discuss in a personal message, but let's just leave it at this. Let's just say this person uh, is doing the, is breaking the fast late, 11.45 a.m. We got to look at the routine where we're looking every three hours of consumption, right? So maybe it's, uh, we got to change this one here for her. Uh, something's wrong with the timer here, but let's just say this is, off let's erase it okay uh it's gonna be at another time here's the three o'clock one here so she's eating at three o'clock and she's consuming the protein four ounces of protein four ounces of protein guys is easily measured that means it's four exchanges okay so if i have one ounce of protein that means one exchange two ounces of protein that means two exchanges three ounces of protein four exchanges i mean three exchanges you get it it's a one-to-one -one ratio with these okay Keep that in mind. It's very easy to cal calculate the proteins. Uh, very easy to calculate all these. The fats are very easy too. But anyhow, this person now is looking at 1.06 and we need to eliminate something from their diet, uh, which is a carbohydrate. So it might be celery. So I go zero there and I go zero on the hummus too. And now I have 0 0.93 right down here, right down here. Actual carbs is now 0 0.93 for this mixed type person. It's well within the parameters of her ideal grams per carbs. This is going to help her have the uh, right amount of nutrients, the right amount of energy to help her burn fat efficiently. Okay, not doing it, not going over. If you go over in carbohydrates, you will not be losing body fat. If you're under and you're not feeding your body the right nutrients to keep that energy level up. Okay. And then again, protein is very important. We don't want to be losing muscle. We want to keep that muscle up. So if this person is very active. She's doing, you know, probably four times advanced athlete or is working out five times a week or seven times a week or is a senior who needs more protein. Then we're going to keep it between 1.6 to 2.0. She's getting 1.8. That's perfect. She's getting the, the right amount of proteins. She's not going to lose muscle, right? Gluconeogenesis, that's not going to happen to her. We're looking at about 1,300 calories. Okay. Again, we don't count calories, but that's what we're looking at. And this person looks like is putting uh, energy back in her body, putting the calories, uh, almost 50% of the calories she burns throughout the day, she's putting it back in her body. That's what, it, that's what this is showing. Okay, so if she's really, really going heavy duty, then she probably has to increase her, her intake. But we got to keep in mind, and it's got to stay between. It's got to stay between that actual carb intake, and this is always being, uh, you know, 
tweak because then we start calculating other things. Once you go over, you got to start considering how much calories you're burning and oof. So it's calculation after calculation. This is why we tweak these programs. But for now, okay, this person here has it right on the proteins, has it right on the carbs. Again, this graph here, this big, big pie chart here shows me 35% carbs, 27% protein, 37% fat. That's, that, that, might, that might seem like a lot of fat percentage, but it's because it's coming part of the protein, plus the fats being consumed. They're all healthy healing fats. Okay, so this is this is a mixed type. It almost looks like it's even pie chart, just a little on one more than the others, but it's a mixed type. Okay, so so that's your plate right there. That's what you're looking at in your plate. Okay, your plate has carbs, fats, and proteins, almost all even. It's not going to be perfect ever, but it's almost even. Again, I went through the rotation foods for everyone on my other video, but uh, you guys work on creating the four meals. You create those four meals. I'll help you out throughout, and this is what you're going to get: your weekly rotation plan. On day one, two, three, and four, you'll have your rotation. Again, I don't have days on these rotation plans because I go with uh, the, whatever day you want to start. But most likely it's Monday through Thursday. On Friday, you're eating Monday's food or the same thing you ate Monday or the same thing you ate Tuesday, whatever you like the best. But you rotate foods, and that just helps your digestive system really uh, you know, get going, bringing up your metabolism, uh, it's a good, it's a good habit to start learning. Okay, change it up in foods, just like you change it up in workouts, just like you do with muscle confusion with with your muscles. Okay, you're doing also, uh, you're emptying that that uh, your intestines, you're emptying your 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 large intestines, and introducing different foods every day, four days. Try it out. It doesn't have to stay like that all the time, but give it a shot. It's worth trying, and you guys start looking at your, you know, at uh, the results. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love the way you feel first. You're gonna love the way you, you, you look after. So, but it's always you're gonna love the way you you, you feel first, right? And feel that energy, okay, guys. Again, the nutrition is seventy-five to eighty percent of your health. Moving comes. Uh, I don't want to say secondary. It's very important, of course. They're all important, but I'm just saying most of the most of the uh, the results come from the nutrition. That's just the way it is. Okay, so there you go. That's your mix type. I will introduce the protein type in my other video. Other than that, talk to you guys soon.